Hi everybody, I have been praying a lot today for Jewel and for her four babies that are still alive. They're all girls. It's kind of a dream for me because I never get girls in the litter. I get a lot of boy dogs, but Jewel is in here. Jewel doesn't want to love her babies. She had a cesarean section this morning. She had a little amniotic bulb hanging out of her lower part, and um, that was the water that was to break. So we grabbed her and went into the vet, and um, we talked for about a half an hour and then decided that it would make the most sense to do the C-section. And Jewel did the C-section, she did it, and um, it was successful. They got the puppies out. Dr. Penn said that one of the puppies didn't really look like it was going to survive. He said it might survive, it might not. The other ones look okay. But then we got home and we realized that none of these puppies had any idea how to find a mommy's tit and start sucking. So we had a bad time with that. So we have been fighting that all day and trying every two hours to feed them, starting early afternoon. And it's now time for bed. And we're gonna have to get up every two hours to feed these babies. But this one is adorable. These are adorable little girls. Adorable little girls, so precious. They don't have their eyes open. I'll show you the other two too. They're so small, they're four ounces, which is a good size for a newborn papillon. Um, four ounces is good, really good. Usually they're, you know, three ounces. So they have that going for them. And they have been singing all day, singing and climbing, but every two hours they need to go poo and they also need to eat. And we've been having challenges with that. I got one to poop by using a warm washcloth and rubbing the belly and rubbing the rectal area and everything and the dog pooed, that was really good. But the other ones I'm having a hard time with. So let's show you the other two. Hey, Jewel doesn't mind me taking them out because the truth is she's not crazy about them anyway. She could take them or leave them. She doesn't really want to nurse them she doesn't remember giving birth to them because she was under anesthesia. But here's the other two. This one has a little angel kiss on the head, which is a little spot, but it'll fill in, I'm sure. And no colors on the back, no spots on the back, but just the angel kiss. And this one is really, really the most amazing one. This one really climbs, really tries the hardest to survive. This one has the survival instinct. I hope she makes it. She will be a sable, a sable papillon. That will be her color if she does okay. This one, not the same color. This one looks like it has black ears like Jewel. So none of them have names right now. It would just about break my heart if I gave them names and then something happened to them. But right now, they're all precious babies. They're all God's creations. So that's a sable. And this, this is another one with black ears. Hi, Peep Peep. Let me get a better look at Peep Peep. They're little Peep Peeps. And they, they make little noises. They're precious. So beautiful. Hi, sweetheart. So I've been stimulating them all day because Jewel's not really doing it. Yes, you're very funny. We've been trying to keep them warm. And this one's going to be a sable too. This one hardly has a white blaze on the head. Papillon should have a white blaze. She does have one. It's just really, really, really small. So she will have reddish tan hair when she grows up. And she's nicely marked and really cute. Oh, and she's got a little peep peep too. You get a good look at the little peep peep. Her eyes are closed. Her eyes are closed. So I'm going to take a bath and go to bed. 
for two hours <laughs> and then wake up and try to poop them and try to feed them again. And uh, pray to God that they make it every day they make it. I'll feel better knowing that I really worked hard to get these kids to live. So please pray for Jules for puppies. <sighs> it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day. I'll, uh, I'll go back and show you all the things I've gone through with the feeding and the, and the bottle and trying to get them onto Jules' nipples. Jules' nipples are drying up. I'm just having, I'm just not having the best day. But anyway, please, uh, please know the truth for me. Know that uh, there is grace surrounding us and these puppies are still alive. So if they make it, um, it'll be a good story, but oh gosh. I really need them to make it. All right. Thank you for now. See you later.